In this video, we're going to look at an exciting new feature in uh, AWR's Microwave Office product. We're going to look at multi-rate harmonic balance. This is an advanced technology for so, uh, circuit simulation that builds on the harmonic balance technique. Uh, where this technique really shines is when we have an awful lot of uh, tones with a very rich harmonic content, like you'd find in this GPS double down converter that we're going to use as an example circuit. Now in this circuit, you'll see that we have a single tone as our RF input. And then we have uh, one LO over here for a down conversion, and then another LO over here for a down conversion. Now what multi-rate harmonic balance allows us to do is instead of solving for every uh, frequency combination or every um, set of harmonic combinations that would be present in this circuit at each and every block, it allows us to do two things to make that problem uh, much smaller so that we can handle bigger problems or we can solve them much faster. So what multi-rate harmonic balance allows us to do is, first of all, allows us to break up the solution into several smaller solutions where we can define the frequency space for each one. For example, in this amplifier over here, it's really only going to see the uh, RF and perhaps this first LO, depending upon what the isolation is for our mixer. But as the designers of this circuit, uh, we will know what that is, or hopefully we'll know what that is. And so we can, um, through multi-rate harmonic balance, make a very intelligent selection of what the frequencies are, uh, the RF and the LO, that this amplifier is going to see. And then further on, as we go through the, the chain here, we can see that with this filter in place, we may not get an awful lot of LO2's leakage back in to the earlier parts of the circuit. So we can direct the multi-rate harmonic balance solution to not include as many harmonics because they're going to be lower in energy back in this part of the circuit for the second LO. And similarly, as we go through the circuit with all the filtering and the isolation that we know for each one of the components, we can intelligently select subsets of the harmonic content that we want the circuit to solve over. And in that way, we can make this solution much more efficient and solve larger problems than we would ordinarily solve. So in this case, for our double down converter, what the multi-rate harmonic balance solution looks like is dividing the circuit up into three separate pieces. I can highlight with this control block that defines our multi-rate harmonic balance solution that our first um, block here is just going to be solved all by itself with the um, fundamental, oh, I'm sorry, with the harmonics of the RF coming through. Because our um, LO to RF isolation is good enough that we're not going to see a whole lot of uh, intermodulation coming back here and affecting our amplifier. Um, and you can see that when I select that block, this amplifier is highlighted. Uh, so there's a correspondence that's implied there. Similarly, for this second um, definition of multi-rate harmonic balance uh, tones and frequencies, you can see that I'm going to solve these three components together, and they're going to see the RF and the first LO, again, because we're expecting this to have good, uh, the second down conversion to have very good LO to RF isolation, and will therefore not have a lot of frequency content going back into the earlier stage. And then finally, we're going to solve this last block here um, in um, a full suite of three frequencies. Now, normally you would expect to see um, those three, free, three frequencies be the RF, LO1, and LO2. But let's zoom in and see something a little bit more interesting here that we've defined with the multi-rate harmonic balance. Uh, you can see that we are using the, um, the primary uh, second LO here, and we're going to use the um, uh, first or secondary primary LO, the first LO here in the F2 specification. But instead of defining our third our third tone as F1, as the RF, we're actually defining it as the IF that we're interested in. So we can focus the power of the harmonic balance solution not on the higher frequency RF that we're really not interested at this point in the circuit. We're really interested in the IF. And that's how we're going to um, direct the solver to focus on the IF here by defining our third tone not as the RF, but as a new constructed tone based on um, all the uh, tones that we have available to us. And when we look at the uh, spectral output that we get um, at the output of both our traditional harmonic balance solution to this double down converter and the multi-rate harmonic balance solution, you can see that they agree very, very well in terms of the frequency content that we really care about. Um, if we look at a time domain waveform, Sorry, not that one. We'll look at the time domain waveform for this part of the circuit. You can see that they agree um, almost exactly, and we can zoom in um, to a very high degree of precision um, down to um, a millivolt level, and you can see that they still agree. Um, the solve time is roughly 25% uh, uh, um, of the uh, solve time for the harmonic balance with the uh, multi-rate harmonic balance, so it's four times faster. So it's quite quite an aggressive uh, help, a uh, quite an aggressive aid we have there in speeding up our solution. Now this is an interesting example because um, we can solve this with um, 
traditional harmonic balance uh, with three tones. We're talking roughly on the order of a thousand different frequency combinations, and there's plenty of memory on a typical PC to do that. But by just adding a single tone, a single additional tone, which I'm showing here, we have our, our same uh, double down converter in the earlier parts of the circuit, but then we're going to assume that um, it's going to be fed into some sort of sampling circuit, which I'm representing here as a FET switch. Um, this addition of a single additional tone is enough to cause this problem not to be able to be solved in a traditional Windows uh, memory space. In other words, this problem just will not solve on a PC on a typical PC. There's just not enough memory just by the addition of that one tone bumping us up to roughly on the order of, let's say, 10,000 harmonics. There's just not enough memory. So what, what I've done here to get this to run in um, in harmonic balance in, in regular HB is I've significantly reduced the number of harmonics that I really want to look at just to get the um, solution to work. Now what that means is I'm going to have a, a tremendous a degradation in accuracy, but just to get this to run and to compare it to what we would see with the multi-rate harmonic balance, I'm willing to do that. Even with that reduction, I'm showing the multi-rate harmonic balance here, um, even that, with that reduction, the multi-rate harmonic balance is able to solve this problem roughly about five times faster um, for a very high degree of accuracy um, on a typical Windows memory space. So a problem that wouldn't solve in harmonic balance, I can net, now get it to solve with all the accuracy I want in multi-rate harmonic balance, and yet it's five times faster than a degraded harmonic balance solution. Uh, let, let me show you what I've done with the last stage here. Um, it's just what you'd expect. It's the things pretty much after the filter. And again, I'm defining a hybrid set of tones uh, here. Um, rather than using the um, the uh, RF tone, I'm defining the actual IF that I want at the sampling. Uh, so it's the combination of uh, the IF tone from the previous um, stage with the sampling rate here. So um, again, we're using the, the hybrid tone definition um, technique that I showed you in the previous um, three uh, three tone or the double down conversion, the simple dub, double down conversion. And when we look at the results for this, uh, we can see that we get um, uh, basically the same signals. Now I have three different solutions here. The, the multi-rate harmonic balance solution with the very high degree of accuracy is uh, the, the blue triangles here in our traditional reduced harmonics balance spaces, sort of the maroon or, or brown diamonds here. I did an additional uh, multi-rate harmonic balance uh, solution where I tried to make it as fast as I could. And let's compare the results that we have with that on this time domain plot at the output. And when we do that, when I zoom in there, you can see that here's my high degree of accuracy multi-rate harmonic balance solution. And I'm getting a lot more um, harmonic content. So we're getting those peaks to be a little bit higher and some and the signal to be much more uh, much much better defined, if you will, in terms of uh, the harmonic content here. And our brown or maroon solution is the uh, traditional harmonic balance. Again, this is with the degraded accuracy so we can fit into the memory space. And then finally, if you look here, I, I sped up the um, multi-rate harmonic balance and got it to run about 40 times faster than our degraded uh, regular harmonic balance solution. And I still have a closer um, fit to what I'm getting with the high accuracy multi-rate harmonic balance. So I didn't push this any further. I'm sure I could have made the multi-rate go even faster and bring it down to the um, accuracy level that the uh, traditional harmonic balance is having and maybe even get a hundred times speed up. Um, but the point is that the multi-rate harmonic balance can solve problems that traditional harmonic balance just can't solve because it runs out of memory. And even if we want to run multi-rate harmonic balance in a fast but less accurate solution, we can still get tremendous speed ups, but um, with, with just a slight reduction in the accuracy, but even better accuracy than we would get if we tried to run it with the harmonic balance solution. So multi-rate harmonic balance is an exciting new technology uh, from AWR. If you'd like to explore more about it, there's white papers on the website. You can go and watch more AWR TV uh, videos about multi-rate harmonic balance, but I would encourage you to download a, a demonstration copy today. Um, try this out, and if you have more questions, please contact your AWR sales or support professionals.